Causeway is the 2022 American drama film directed by Lila Nagenbauer. In her feature directorial debut and written by Otessa Moshve, Luke Goebel and Elizabeth Sanders. The film stars Jennifer Lawrence, who also produced the film, alongside Brian Tyree Henry, Linda Emmond, Jane Hoodershell, Steve McKinley Henderson and Russell Harvard. It follows a soldier struggling to adjust to her life after returning home to New Orleans. The film will well premiere at the 47th Toronto International Film Festival on September 10th, 2022. It was released in select cinemas on October 28th, 2022, and then had a streaming release on November 4th, 2022 on Apple TV+. The film received positive reviews from critics who praised the performances of Lawrence and Henry. Among other accolades, Henry was nominated for Best Supporting Actor at the 95th Academy Awards. The cast includes Jennifer Lawrence as Lindsay. A U.S. soldier who experiences traumatic brain injury after an IED explosion during her tour of Afghanistan. Brian Tyree Henry as James Orkan. An auto mechanic who has a physical and mental trauma after a car accident in which his nephew was killed. Linda Amont as Gloria, Lindsay's mother. Jane Huddershell as Sharon, a caretaker for Lindsay. Stephen McKinley Henderson as Dr. Lewis. And Russell Harvard as Justin, Lindsay's brother. In April of 2019, it was announced Jennifer Lawrence and Brian Tyree Henry had joined the cast of the untitled drama film, with Lila Negenbauer directing from a screenplay by Elizabeth Sanders. Lawrence, Justine Polowski, Eli Bush and Scott Rundon initially served as producers under the excellent Cadaver and IAC film banners, respectively, and A24 distributed the film. Production began in the summer of 2019 in New Orleans, but was delayed due to Hurricane Barry. Production restarted in March 2020, but was once again delayed by the COVID-19 pandemic, and was completed in the summer of 2021. Lawrence and Henry continued to workshop the script together during the pandemic as a result of their chemistry, and to further enrich their scenes, as they were seen as the most compelling parts of the film. In April of 2021, following allegations of abuse, Scott Rudden stepped back as producer from the project. On December 30th, 2021, the WGA awarded the final screenplay credit for the film to both Sanders and the team of Otesma Moshfe and Luke Gobel. A rumoured previous title of the film was Red, White and Water. Excellent Cadaver is an American film and television production company founded by actress Jennifer Lawrence in 2018. In July of 2022, it was announced that Apple TV Plus would distribute the film. The film had its world premiere at the Toronto International Film Festival, while the European premiere was held on October 8, 2022 at the BFI London Film Festival. It had a limited theatrical release on October 28, 2022, and was released on Apple TV Plus on November 4, 2022. Now, in many ways, this film takes a very powerful but yet subdued look at the lingering effects of trauma, or as we now know it as post-traumatic stress. The film alludes to Jennifer Lawrence's character here of Lindsay, of course, going to fight in Afghanistan, being involved in a huge explosion and suffering some brain damage as well as emotional trauma. The film, though, is really centered around the two fantastic performances here from the two leads in Jennifer Lawrence and Brian Tyree Henry, whose chemistry is absolutely perfect for their respective roles. It's a very restrained film, sensitive and yet very also dramatic. For me, this is one of Lawrence's most phenomenal and breathtaking performances she's ever given. And she never overacts, and if anything gives a reined-in performance that is made so much more compelling in her portrayal by her way of wanting to not tell you what happened, by pretending that she is fine and all well and actually wants to go back to Afghanistan to escape the drama of what she considers being in New Orleans. It's a complicated and deep role that Lawrence brings to life absolutely perfectly. As I mentioned, it's because she holds back so much that I'm so impressed by the performance, as she could have really overdone it, overdramatized it, and overacted per se, but rather she remains constrained and really only opens up or shows any emotion when she talks with James. Or, of course, when she speaks with her brother, who is, of course, deaf and serving time in prison, I found that one of the more emotional scenes within the film. For me, Brian Tyree Henry is also superb in this role. He's so grounded here, and there are moments when you feel like you're almost intruding upon their lives. Henry turns in an amusing, yet sympathetic and heartbreaking performance. For me, this is purely a human interest story. It's about loss, it's about trauma, it's about connecting, and just enjoying the kindness of some strangers. The film, though, really works in that it holds back a lot, and it really revolves around the two excellent performances here of Lawrence and Henry, as they do an incredible job of working together, telling you their backstories, and taking you down a path with them. I love the sense of soft smiles as they communicate their pain and hardships without relying on over-the-top dramatization. It's also refreshing to see a relationship now purely built on platonic relations rather than any sort of deep sexual underlying desire. These are two people connecting in a different way, in purely a friendship way, and they are providing each other with solace in their desperate time of need. 
Ironically, director Lily Nergenbauer is best known for her theatre pieces, but here she actually gets the actors to play understated roles and rather lets them focus on the nuances of their performances. The film can be slow at times, and there are a lot of scenes when you just have to sort of wait for something to happen. But in many ways, that's sort of the point of the story. It's meant to be introspective. It's meant to be detailed. And we are meant to see it from these characters' perspective. Look, do I think this is an instant classic? By no means. But it's a good, well-told, introspective story with two excellent performances from the leads. Well-directed and well-acted, Causeway gets an 8.5 out of 10.